Hi. Um. And today, I'm gonna be showing you um my collection of axes and axes, including hatchets. Um. So I'll just go ahead and uh, start going, get started. So, anyways, um. First, we have um, one of my personal favorite hatchets, the Rudahawk. Now, this is this is not just uh, like an ordinary hatchet, but rather like uh, a hatchet and a hammer, which is some of the reason why they call it Rudahawk hammers. And basically, the hatchet side would cut, you know, cut into things, you know chop some things off, trim it down, and the uh, Rudahawk would, you know, nail things, and I'd actually be able to, like, nail nails in. So, also, I can build stuff this, um, so it's like, it's also like a tomahawk, you know, but it ain't a tomahawk where you throw, but it's like, it's really sharp, um, you know, it hasn't been sharpened in, in, like, 17 years. Um, this, this, Hatchet head is like sixty seven years old, so it's way older than me, and my papa made it when he was little. His first ever make was this, and the handle was made twenty seven years ago, and he recently just repainted it blue so but it's a really good you know really light. And all, but I'm gonna stick that back up there. Um, next we have one of the most, so far, one of the most lightest hatchets I've ever used. This is my pawpaws, and it's similar to my pawpaws axe. No, it's got the same color as the bottom handle. Um, this is Friskers or something, Friskers. Hatchet, um, it's pretty light, um, and it's just really good, uh, it's really good to hit with. It also comes with a, it, um, my papa uses a handle, which is why this part is so beat up, you know, because it's, it's been, you know, it's really good, I mean, it can, it can cut a bunch of stuff off, you know. You know, like all that. Um, so. Uh, next hatchet would be. Uh, well, if I can get. Uh, this is my smallest hatchet in my entire collection. Um, and there's a reason why I say it's the smallest. Uh, so far, um,. It's only nine inches. I mean, not even not. This is like a um. It's way smaller than this hatchet, you know. Uh, small. This hatchet's a bit um big. Is bigger than that. Um. This hatchet is, but this hatchet is no means possibly the strongest hatchet I've ever used. Like, it can cut, even cut down a tree. I mean, this hatchet is strong and it's sharp. Um, it'll take a lot of force to break this hatchet. Um, and clearly force that not any human being would have. It would have to take a machine possibly to destroy it, if it could this thing is pretty sharp um and i really like how it's you know it's it's but here's here's the thing i don't really like about it it's like it's really heavy and it's just kind of like you know it's just hard to hit with but trust me it'll you know it's got a firm grip too next up we have an axe. Um, this is my, this is the lightest axe, like, similar how the hatchet. 
it's it's pretty light. In fact, I can just chop trees down like it's a hatchet with one hand if I wanted to. I'll be using this axe um, in more videos, upcoming videos, but for now I'm just showing you what it just looks like. Um, this is my uh, Papa's axe, another axe of his. Um, it's pretty light, like I said, the, like the hatchet is right there. It's pretty light. Um, it's just pretty bulky. But it's a really good axe. It's not my most favorite. Um, that'll be the upcoming axe, which is the fireman's axe. But it's a pretty good axe, and I just really actually like it. It's my second favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways... So now we come to my most favorite axe, and actually possibly the strongest axe in my collection. Um, <sighs> which is no other than the fireman's axe. I have actually used this axe in a whole lot of videos. Um, it also has a pick in which you can break concrete with, and it'll minorly damage it unlike most axes this is what firemen use to break in to homes in which people are possibly burning alive if they're still alive on the saves the people who are still alive in the burning homes if any um it's just uh, a really good axe to chop wood with it does not take long for this axe to cut through um, wood. Uh, it's it's just a really strong axe, and it's it's other than a chainsaw, it can cut um, a good a, a good sized tree in just like one hour. I mean, I know a chainsaw is way more quicker, but this is the strongest axe I. I have ever used. I, I don't even know. I know there's stronger axes out there, but this is the strongest axe I ever have ever used. So until I get my hands on what Billy Buck and Ray Smith says as like a some axe that he has, this will be my strongest axe I ever have. Um. So I'll go into my Popov barn for the next two axes. So, I will see you in my pop-up bar. Okay, so now we have, um, are going to, um, the double blade axe. Now, this axe, um, hold on. Hold on real quick. Hold on. Now this axe, um, I may be so bold to say, uh, is, <coughs> is like, um, one side is actually sharper than the other, but it's a really strange axe. I mean, ain't like most axes. But this axe is really good for um, logging, um, like filling in, like one side is made for cutting the tree down, and the other side is naturally a little less sharper than the other to, you know, more fill the tree in. I mean, you can use whatever side you want, because either side is going to be able to cut down a tree. But usually it's just like this side sharper, but you can sharpen them um to the extent of like equal them equal. But I mean this is not really necessary. The adult blade axe to me is not really necessary, but it is a pretty good axe, and I'm not saying it's not bad. Um, so this axe is not like a bad choice. So anyways, moving on to the next X. Um, this next
next axe is made for uh, wood splitting. If I can get it out here, uh, it's really dusty. I haven't used it in like three years. You've possibly never seen me use this axe. And it's quite dusty because I haven't used it in like three years. But anyways, this axe is an axe for wood splitting. But I call it the super splitting axe because when you go to split wood, there's this wedge right here. And so when you split wood, it creates this wedge so like the wood will actually split. Like when it splits, it'll just like create a bigger wedge so that next time you hack at, it goes completely through. It can work on huge tree logs. I mean, it's it's just a masterpiece. And I think it's kind of stronger than the fireman's axe in terms of log splitting. But cutting down a tree, it's not good at all. Um, but this is a really good log splitting axe. Um, so... I'll go to my next axe, which is the yellow handled axe, which is near the chainsaw, which is in there. So I'll see you in there. Okay, so here is the double blade. I mean, not the double blade, but the yellow handled axe. Now, you have seen this axe as well in one of my other videos, but this axe is similar to. My Paul Paul's axe, except this axe is a more like pro um, level at cutting um, smaller trees. Uh, it's it's a bit heavier. It's about the average size of a regular axe. I mean, the average weight for one. It's a bit longer than most axes, um, and it's mostly straight, a straight handle, besides the small little curve right there, um, but other than that, it's, it's actually a pretty good axe, um, I, I use it more than you actually see, I have used it cut to cut down about 27 trees, um, so I, I actually do really love this axe, um, so... Um, I also want to say that I am saving up to buy me a smaller chainsaw that I can use because we are actually building a house. Um, but unlike for this chainsaw, first of all, I actually need a new chainsaw because all my chainsaws, including this one, are just starting to give up on me because it's like just really hard you know to to start it you know and so I just think I really need a new chainsaw and plus the trees on my property are not as big um as these trees um so yeah but anyways Hope y'all enjoyed the video and leave a like and subscribe.